Hey everybody, Dr. Rafi Wald here. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, by request, I have been asked to speak to you all a little bit about seizures further and about something called PNES. What PNES stands for is psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. So we have spoken a little bit about seizures in the past. Seizures are an abnormality of electrical activity in which there is too much electrical activity in the brain. Some electrical activity in the brain is normal, but when this gets out of control, it can cause seizures. And there are a number of different types of seizures. There are generalized seizures, which are what people generally think of when they think of seizures, which is when people sort of fall on the ground and their whole bodies shake. There are partial seizures in which one part of a person's body may shake. There are absence seizures in which a person may seem to sort of blank out for a period and not be able to move and then suddenly they are able to but again it is an abnormality of electricity in the brain what PNES is as we have already described psychogenic non-epileptic seizures is when there is not a medical cause or an electrical cause within the brain that is causing the seizure rather it's probably due to some kind of an underlying psychological issue now it's very important to note that this does not mean that they are happening because the person is actively faking them. They are still happening and they generally are out of a person's control while they're happening. There's just not a neuroelectrical cause to them. It can be very difficult to distinguish between the, the PNES and the genuine neurogenic seizure, but one of the best ways to be able to do so is to give a person what's called an ambulatory or 72-hour EEG in which the, the electricity of their brain is measured over the course of 72 hours. So we do get an idea of whether there actually is an abnormality of seizure. Or another way that we can do so is by videotaping a seizure while a person is having one. And a person who is experienced in treating seizures can see if the symptoms of the seizure are consistent with what we know about actual epileptic seizures. Uh, it's a complicated subject, um, but I hope this information is interesting and I hope it helps you. I am looking forward to talking to you all soon as always. Bye-bye.